I think GIS has enormous potential in the geography classroom for really getting them to understand what's going on in the world. It allows pupils to really look at data and make sense of it and ask questions of it. A very important skill in terms of problem solving and it's a skill that will prepare them for the world of work. You often get asked, you know, the stereotypical question, what can we do with geography? Um, and I guess this in particular really does bring it to life. It lets them see applications of geography outside of the classroom and I suppose importantly in their career paths. We brought uh, geographers together from all of the three post-primary schools in Lurgan to do a kind of a personal geography mapping exercise. We ended up with this really rich map showing their perceptions of safety across the town but also crucially because this was part of shared education it meant that they were able to hear from people from a different community to begin to understand a little bit better of how they feel about the town. So what we saw whenever we went out on our field trip in Lurgan is that the technology has enabled barriers to be broken down a lot more easily and a lot more quickly than normally it would and having something in their hand that's so intuitive and so easy to use has actually made them feel more comfortable, has got the, the thought processes going more quickly and has then got the discussions developing a lot more quickly than it would. ArcGIS has really opened up a lot of geography to me. Being around Esri and looking at ArcGIS, I think I might go for a geography degree at university. It's changed my perceptive of geography because before it was like, oh, we're going to look at this you know, map of a river system or this cross diagram without really looking at it on a global scale. It was very localized and very much just a, you know, a map that our teacher handed us a print off and it's helped me be able to think, well, what can I use this for? So the way the students are really using ArcGIS online is a lot of time through uh, Survey123 and their field work, the platform just allows them to start from start to finish to be able, be able to uh, map where they work, plan where they're going to go, gives them some rationale and language about why they're going to certain places uh, and they can finish it off with a story map to actually uh, submit uh, as part of their work. During the field trips, kids will have no bother with working because um, we're in the local area, we still have 4G and it's very user friendly when we're outdoors. Usually what we'd have to do is we'd have to just get maps off the internet and then annotate them with pencil and paper and it'd take ages. But with technologies like ArcGIS, you can have those maps anywhere if you just have the link and you're able to go into more detail about your annotations on the map and it just looks neater, it's more clearer, it's easier to read and it's really accessible for everyone. It's providing me with such a wide range of resources that are actually interesting to the pupils and allow a lot of independent learning. You know, it means I can come into the classroom, present a lesson, say, right, this is what I want you to do in this lesson and not feel that I'm up dictating that the pupils, when they're confident in using GIS, and using arches for schools that they can actually go and they can be fully involved in their learning. As a teacher, I have been really inspired by the ArcGIS programme for schools. It has helped me see how geography can really link in with STEM and with IT. So it has really helped bring the outside world into the classroom. There's never been any kind of software in school like ArcGIS. So just learning about it for the first time and feeling like I'm really getting experience with something brand new, that was absolutely fantastic for me.